Hello everybody and welcome back. So as I mentioned in a couple of my earlier videos, I I'm gonna be trying some new things this year, things I've never done before. Uh, one of those things is going to be trapping. Now, a lot of people when they think trapping, they think footholds and stuff for coyotes and bobcats and stuff like that. I'm just getting my feet wet this year, guys. I am not going to be doing any of the big stuff. I'm not gonna be going after coyote. I'm not gonna be going after uh, bobcat or anything like that. I am going after primarily squirrel and raccoons. Now, there's two reasons I'm doing this. Number one, um, quite frankly, I love the taste of squirrel. Uh, I think it's delicious. Uh, the rest of my family doesn't necessarily agree with me, but I think it's delicious. And reason number two is I want to try to get into tanning hides and stuff like that. So if I had a bunch of squirrel hides from trapping season, then I could try that stuff. Plus my wife is very crafty. Uh, she loves making jewelry and stuff like that. So this would be a way for me to get some hides that she can then turn into whatever she wants. Uh, so in order to do this, I'm gonna be using a small 110 body grip trap. Uh, now this is an instant kill trap, so the, the animal is dead as soon as they set it off. Uh, but these traps are designed to be handled two different ways. Uh, you can either mount it to a tree or you can put it underwater for things like muskrat or whatever. Now we don't have any of that here. Uh, however, in order to mount it to the side of a tree or a log or wherever, you need what's something uh, something called a conibear bracket. Uh, it's essentially a little bracket that has two little notches on it that holds the trap upright. Now these things, I cannot find them locally around me anywhere. Um, so I was kind of stuck and I found them online, but they were a little bit expensive. They're not terrible, uh, but I did some research on YouTube and I actually found a way to make uh, so this is essentially what it's going to look like when I'm done. So you can see the trap would slide into here. And uh, you can screw this into a tree and it'll hold it up in place. And the animal goes to it and Bob's your uncle. You know how this works. But it's very easy to make. So I wanted to take a quick moment and walk you guys through how to do this. And then walk you guys through the first round of setting my traps for their year. And uh, the first round of checking the traps for the year. Uh, I'm filming this in October. Trapping season does not start until November 16th. Uh, so that'll be probably the next update you guys get. Um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make a conibear bracket on the cheap. All right. So the first thing you're going to need is a plywood sheathing clip. Uh, just a plywood clip. That's how I was able to find them at Home Depot. Just look for plywood clips. Uh, and it's very simple. It looks like this. The only thing you're going to need are these plywood sheathing clips, a pair of pliers, and a bench vise, and a drill with a drill bit that can cut through this. So to start, we're gonna grab the, the sheathing clip, the plywood clip, and we're gonna bend these two little sides outwards. So looks like that. like that. So now it kind of looks like uh, like bird flying. And then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom with these two big sides here. All right. And there we go. Now you don't want these to be too tight. You want to make sure your trap can still slide in there, but that should about do it. All right, after you get everything bent into shape, it should look something like this. Now, what we need to do now is drill a hole right here in this center section so that you're able to screw it into either the tree or the stump or wherever you're going to be placing your trap. So you're, to do this, you're going to place it in your vise and you're going to tighten it in. Now, the key here is to not tighten it too much because these are made out of aluminum and they will bend. So what we're going to do is just 
just drill a hole right here in this center section for our screw. And there you have it. You have your own homemade Conabare bracket and it only costs about 12 to 20 cents to make depending on how you do everything. I hope you enjoy. I do have a bunch more of these that I have to make. So stand by and uh, enjoy the time lapse. All right, everybody, I got 18 of these brackets ready to go. Again, trapping season isn't for a couple of weeks, but these are ready to go, and uh, I look forward to it. All right, everybody, I hope you really enjoyed the video on how to make your own conibear brackets. Um, I've already started using them. I actually just got done checking my traps for the first time. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get to trap anything until after deer season, uh, but I did just set the traps up, and those brackets are working beautifully. So if you want to see what happened on my first trapping adventure of the year, you're going to have to stick around to the channel and keep watching. Uh, there should be a lot more videos coming soon. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And you have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day.